like just getting just a few honors. What's it like for you going through award season and being recognized by your peers? I mean, it's, in, it's incredibly gratifying for the talent. I mean, you, I always feel like if the people are doing the best work of their life, I love that they can compete in the open field and, can, yeah, and get recognized like this. It means a lot. It means a lot to them. And that's why it means a lot to us. One of the things that artists constantly talk about with Netflix is the creative freedom yeah. that you give them to really pursue. But coming from a producerial perspective, you still have to balance the bottom line. So yeah. how do you, from the producing side, kind of give that freedom, but at the same time do what you need to do to run a business? I feel like our, our work is really over when we make do the picking. Meaning that if we pick the right people and pick the right projects, yeah. um, that we're, that's 90% of the work. And a lot of things happen on set, and a lot of things happen that, that you know, change midstream, obviously. But as long as it's on screen and meant to further the story, we can we make those trade-offs all the time, and we're thrilled to. But for the most part, we think it's our, you know, if we pick the right storytellers who are telling the story of their lives, we give them the resources they need to do it and get out of their way. I mean, that's been our kind of uh, professional strategy, and now it's been our creative strategy. And both have paid out pretty well. Yeah. So pretty much everybody wants to make a Netflix show these days. When you're making a deal with someone like Shonda Rhimes, clearly that you know she's got an amazing track record. But for newer folks out there who want a shot at doing a show with Netflix, what's your piece of advice to them? Well, I mean, we're we're always looking for new voices and new talent. Um, I mean, we feel always it, it's, we could point to all the superstars. But there's been a lot of folks that have broke through on Netflix, uh, both in the U.S. and all over the world. So mostly just the main one is, is this has never been a better time in the world to be a storyteller and be a creative storyteller. And the tools have never been cheaper. The distribution has never been more accessible. So whatever your thing is, do it. Write, shoot, cut, post, get, it, get your work out there and let people see it. And clearly that's paid off with Alfonso Caron and Roma. Absolutely, yeah, so proud of him, so proud of this film. Well, congratulations to you, congratulations to Roma on all the accolades it's receiving, and have a great time tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks.